Karibu Mash Media Kenya. Jina langu ni kuwa Hosea na leo tunapiga story tukiwa Bungoma County Comfort Hotel, hoteli ambayo inaofa chakula ambacho ni quality ambayo iko sawa kabisa. Bei ninafuna pia vinywaji ni kwa wingi. Wako located Bungoma County opposite Sharif Center. Ah, karibu sana. Uh, tungependa kwanza tujulishe unaitwaje alafu tuweze kuendelea na Sikio Asante. Kwa majina naitwa Victoria. Wengine unita Jesinta. Mm. Uh, leo na juu umekuja kutupea story yako kwa sababu kuna mtu inaweza inspire, kuna mtu inaweza fundisha. Kwa hivyo tutaweza kukaribisha. Karibu sana Mash Media Kenya. Okay. Asante. Sijui nianzie wapi lakini mali penye nitaanzia pia ni sawa. Mm -hmm. Oh, mimi nimepitia a lot of challenges whereby I was so much depressed. It was uh, 2002 or two. two, or two. Uh -huh. Then we came about whereby kuna some challenges to me pitia with my family. Apart of apart from my family, 2021 ni kamaliza shule. Kumaliza shule ni seme ni bahati ni limaliza shule whereby but mzuri nikapata opportunity ya kazi hiyo kumaliza shule maybe ni class 8 ni class ngapi sasa college college eh, nilimaliza college 2021 may mm -hmm. whereby immediately i finished my last paper nikaitwa interview as a lab technician eh, so i attended the interview na nikachukuliwa sasa hapo I, eh, within three months i was not dating june nilikuwa somehow at broken so niko na like acha niachane na mambo na kudet nikae nituli so within again another three months my mom died nikashindwa nitafanya aje we've never stayed with our mom actually mimi nimelelewa na baba mama ali wali divorce nikiwa class 2 that was in 206 Eh uh, so tukamaliza everything vitu na matanga nini nikarudi tena kazi. So kurudi kazi niko na ah siwezi kaa hivyo bure. So nikamita certain boy he was a teacher, he's a teacher by then. Where by I'm the lab tech and he's a teacher teaching uh, uh, biology agriculture in the same institution. Took our friends, we started dating. Took a date almost 4 uh, months. Okay. Unajua tu whatever boys na girls you share nini unapenda mtu nini. Umetoka heartbreak umepata mtu mwenye anakupenda. So this boy tulipendana tu actually. So ikawa when uh, mali penye nilikuwa naishi akaniambia Vicky mali penye nimefikia acha nikupeleke to another house. I stayed in a single house. So by that time wende walikuwa unajilipia nyumba na In, exactly. So alivu nipeleka kwa nyumba two rooms. Eh sasa yeye ndo alikuwa analipa rent. So akakutoa kwako mkaenda kuishi. Eh, eh si hata tulikuwa tunaishi na yeye. Mimi I stayed in that house while yeye ndo provide okay. analipa rent but yeye alikuwa anishi tena kwingine. Sa ikafika ha huh, November. That was 2022 no 2021 November. So 2021 November nika feel I'm so sick na sijui shida ni nini. So kukawa na watu wengine shule walikuja kupeana dawa ya bilhazi ya minyoo. So nikapewa, nikameza. So after kitu 2 hours nikaanza ku feel like I'm sleepy. So nikaelezea one of the madam, kumbe madam pia she was feeling the same. So kwenda hospitali after three days nikapatikana niko na mimba. So I called the guy nikamuelezea so kumuelezea yani chukulia tu yenyewe it's okay ni fine eh, she, he, by that he was very happy so after some times eh, nilikuwa nimetoka kazi it was around 5:30 nikiwa bedroom na shughulika tu na mambo 1 2 3 nilikuwa nakunja mambo i think so so mtu akabisha kwa mlango eh hey, hodi hey, karibu Kuingi, kumfungulia napata ni mwanamke nikamuuliza we ni nani nikusaidie vipi hao akaniambia do you know so and so kamwambia yes i know him and who is he to you kamwambia he is my charlie ni charlie yangu 
kwa sababu sio fahamu mjaanza kuishi na eh atu, eh nikamwambia ni chalia ni chali yangu ambia alikwambia yuko na familia kweli nikashtuka familia tena nikamwambia mimi si, sijui maana ajainiambia ati how long have you been dating nikamwambia so akaenda so siku anajua ni nani actually jo i try to ask her who are you akaniambia hapana usijali utakuja kujua baadaye so after three days the man came nikamuuliza there are certain woman alikuja hapa na nafanana hivi na hivi na hivi do you know her then the man denied i don't know that woman so uh, tukaamua acha tu hiyo story tufanye nini tunyamazie so after a certain month kumbuka nishajua niko na mimba nimemwambia najua so nikaingia two months so tena kukawa na another woman the same same woman came but nilikuwa nime vacate nyumba so akakuja akauliza my neighbor do you know madam viki at yeye namjua ati anaishi wapi akaonyeshwa hapa ndio anaishi so akabisha kubisha nikamfungulia nilivomfungulia alikuja in rough where by akafunga mlango na alivofunga mlango no my house kuna hizo catilaries mm. na ikakuwa jug so akakuja akatoa kisu so kutoa kisu was like eh wewe ni nani the other day you came here na huku niambia wewe ni na wewe ni nani kindly please naweza kujua akaniambia mimi ndio bibi ya fulani fula bini ya fulani fulani so nikamuliza aje so akaniambia ati before I, I want to kill you but before i kill you call your parents so me i told her mimi sina wazazi niko tu na ma niko na baba peke yake na my step mom ni nataka kuambia nini actually ati nataka niwaambie kwamba wewe ni husband snatcher so i ask her how aje nime snatch nani so nikamwambia before you do anything hata mimi on my side let me call the person actually nikampigia so nilivompigia pia aka, akaja so akaulizwa who is Vicky to you na huyu pia nikamuuliza and who is this Rolly to you unaona so akania the boy alinyamaza so msichana ndiye akaanza kujiexpress i'm so and so mimi ndo bibi yake niko na mtoto tena ndo vinyona niona hivi niko na mimba nimekwanga shule but i was being told my husband ako hivi na hivi na a certain girl so mimi nikamwambia hiyo yote mimi sifanye nini sijui maana hiyo husband wakati kidogo time unaingia kwenye relationship na huyu umesema alikuwa mwalimu yeah. wakati unaingia kwenye relationship na yeye sijui kwa nini haukutaka kujua uh, ulitaka kujua mengi kumuhusu maybe ama uli, uliamua kwa nini uli give in bila kutaka maybe kujua kwake juu pengine sijui kama ulijua kwake kwa nini uli give in haraka okay i didn't give in that easily but <laughs> but haukujua anamke sikujua anamke haukujua ha, that was the big eh sikujua anamke mm-hmm. actually sikujua mm-hmm. where by alivo venye wao mkalikuja actually any sijeta nilishtuka juni chenye his uh, amekwanga na mimi 24/7 where by uwezi shuku mtu seme ah huyu ni kama anamke simu yake at times ananiachia No na sasa singe shuku vile ati ako na mke. More in fact he introduced me to the sister, the brothers. No. So me ni kawa like anyway, ni sawa lakini bado nafaa nini naogopa. But within that period ni kawa member. So huyo mke alivotaka kuja kuniua, venye alikuwa anataka kuniua, mimi nikamu explain yeah, what happened, venye the husband told me. So akasema mimi nataka ni wawe wote kaambia ni sawa kama unataka niua ni sawa sasa huyo mbwana kaongea na yeye wakaondoka wote so w- the next month which was december nikauliza rent hakunipea aliniambia viki mali pe nimefikia sitaki ni lose my family where by my wife is pregnant and bado niko na mtu mwingine mdo, mdogo so naona to break up wo uende your ways na mimi niende your ways. Kumbuka we are working in the same institution. Okay, ulikuwa umesema mlikuwa mnafanya kwenye the same institution. Sasa yeah. sijui ni nyinyi wote watatu ama hapana wawili. Mm-hmm. Eh. So, alafu nini itaendelea? So, alivoniambia hivyo, mimi niko nyenyewe hakuna haja ni ku attacked each and every day na niko mimba the same time and kumbuka niko na baba ambaye ni mkali. Mm. 
nitaanzia wapi nitaenda wapi nikogopa di kwenda nyumbani so kukao na one of my friend ni mwalimu pia madam so madam akaniambia viki you are still young hakuna jo uteseke na sisi watu wakubwa tu tuko so take your belongings tuende tuishi kwangu actually tukatoa tukatoa vitu nikaenda kuishi kwa madam tukaingia 2022 where by form fours were starting the exam march mwezi wa tatu. So kufunga shule nikamwambia madam malipo imefikia acha nifanye nini niende Nairobi kwa my cousins. Wewe baistaki kwenda nyumbani baba ni mkali. So oh mwanamke pia alikuja ka change oh madam alikuwa naishi naye before nipange practical nikaenda Nairobi. So kurudi nikapata like amepima kila kitu kwa watoto wake na kaficha zingine bedroom. So kupanga practical ya kwanza chemistry nikapanga nikirudi kwake nikapanga biology nikirudi kwake the last exam was physics kupanga ikaisha kitu masaa 5 so ilivoisha kitu masaa tano akanipigia viki sasa tafuta venye tafuta mali penye unaweza enda kaambia madam nitaenda wapi mimi mwenyewe nimeogopa nyumbani babangu ataniua niende wapi Ho oh, akaniambia sijui just vacate my house stuck my husband to find you here. Ha lakini ulikuwa bado unafanya kazi. Eh nilikuwa bado nafanya Nilikuwa kazi. Na, sijui kama ulikuwa unapata mshahara ambao ungekusustain peke yako ama Mish... lazima unge depend kwa hao. Okay. Hmm. Mshahara in that school hmm. si kitu unaweza depend on juu unapata like wana tunaambiwa shule tujapokea pesa from the government si tunangojea pesa ya government za shule ikuwe disbursed ndio at least tulipo tukaka almost three, three months no payment sasa alivoniambia ni vacate room hataki bwanake pia nipate hapo nika sasa madam si niache basi vitu zangu nikienda Nairobi i'm sure my cousins watakuwa at least watakuwa ni pay something ni tafuta hata nyumba karibu na shule akaniambia hapana we tafuta mali penye unaweza kukawa na one of the boda boda rider mwenye alikuwa anatupeleka shule nikampigia simu nikamuelezea so kumuelezea pia akasema acha tafute basi pali penye naweza ikaangalau vitu zangu before that nikoongea na landlord wa hapo landlord pia akasema ha kuna vinyonezeka vitu zako hapa kwangu juu uenda naweza pata customer ingie kwa hii this new house nikamuliza sasa ni lock naweza weka vitu zangu kwa bafu kulikuwa na hiyo bafu ya nyuma hizo bafu za nje it was a self contained house whereby kuna latrines za nje so nikamuliza naweza funga vitu zangu kwa hiyo bafu yeye mwenye pia akafanya ni nakakataka niambia unless ni kutengenezea certain room within two months so nikamwambia within two months nitapata kama nimetoka Nairobi na madam amesema nitoe vitu zangu so acha nitafute mali pa kuweka nikija nikitoka from Nairobi ndio nitaingia kwa hii nyumba. So tukatafuta mtu boda katafuta mama wao baya alipata. Alivopata nika travel to Nairobi. So after two weeks ndo nikarudi. Hiyo sasa tulikuwa tumefungua sasa nikarudi. So nilivorudi nikakaa with this woman. Kumbuka simjui alikuwa anauza tuta. Tukakaa nae one week nikienda tu kazi. Malipo nilikuwa naishi ni that a little bit far ni 70 bob to school unapata this boy anaitwa Morgan this Morgan anakuja nanyeshewa hiyo mwezi wa tano kumbuka nilikuwa msimu wa mvua nanyeshewa anamipita alikuwa na motorbike nanyeshewa anapita nikitoka shule natembea long distance at least nifike katikati nibebe na 30 shillings so nikafanya hivyo almost 3 3 weeks hivi Oya bai. Saa 9, ilikuwa saa 9 usiku. Saa 9 usiku mwezi wa tano. It was raining kabisa tanda whatever whatever. Then wezi wakabang kwa nyumba. So sasa bado unaishi peke yako. Naishi na huyu mwanamke. Eh, oh mama alinikubali huyo sasa. Kakane hapo hivyo wezi ndio wakafanya nini? Wakaja tulipigwa na pia alikuwa na mzee huyu mama alikuwa na hakuwa na mzee alikuwa naishi hivyo hivyo bila watoto alikuwa na watoto watatu ndio amueleka so alikuwa anakuja tu kumuona so hapo kwa hiyo nyumba mlikuwa wewe na yeye eh watu wawili so hapo hivyo masaa 
wezi wakaingia tukap tulipigwa 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 wanataka nini tulipigwa nataka pesa kumbuka nilikuwa kwa chama wa yabai one week before nilikuwa nimetumiwa pesa 17000 then i withdraw this money cause nili feel tu ni withdraw this money kwa like for emergency pesa isikuwe kwa simu kwa na feel tu insecure pesa yangu ikiwa kwa simu juu mambo na credit nini nini naona pesa inaisha alafu kulingana vinyo pia nilikuwa nishaambiwa mara ya kwanza nitafute vile nitajisaidia nikona ni withdraw pesa itanisaidia upande na nini emergency so this money ilikuwa kwa envelope with all my certificate is of my credential education hizo zote kwa juu ya meza nikajipanga kesho nenda shule tuzona sande sasa so nishajipanga una mande nenda shule nenda shule ndo sasa uweze wakaingia wanataka pesa wakaanza kutoa magas tulikuwa na mahindi two sacks wakachukua ma laptop walichukua tu mwingine anachukua kipea mwingine akipeleka plus the laptops my phone ilichukuliwa but you don't think if it was plan your mama kwa sababu pesa ambazo wewe ulikuwa nazo hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua hakuna mama alikuwa amejua ndio pengine ile ile setup ambayo pengine mama alikuwa anajua alikuwa anajua alikuwa anajua una pesa alikuwa anajua nina pesa emergency so hapo according to her i don't think kama she planned it so evo until some of them ended up doing something i hope you understand so, until watu walifanya venye walikuwa wanajisikia kufanya so kufika masaa kumi hapo wali, yani walivumaliza kutu whatever sasa yeah? tukaitana usaidizi gari ya polisi kaja nikapeleka hospitali St Mary's all this time majirani hakuna kitu wanawasaidia ma majirani amuko na majirani tulikuwa na majirani but some of them hawakukua ndio wengine walikuwa soja so kulikuwa na hoteli kuna hoteli hapo like this hotel where by kuna wengine walikuwa na sikio kelele but wanashindwa shida ni nini hawa wanawake wanapigana ama ni nini so waka delay waka feel like maybe wanapigana tuwezi ingilia nini conflict zao so after one hour so wako na like hiyo kelele inaongezeka ndio one of them came wakapata kama tayari au majambazi wametoroka eh hapo ndo tukachukuliwa tukapeleka hospitali in fact nikalazo hospitali kuongezwa maji kupimwa kufanywa mtoto scanning with all those things ya hospitali walibeba kila kitu plus all these credentials walibeba so kidogo nikaka like two months kuishi tu na umama ndio tukavacate the room tukatafuta certain place ya kuishi kama bado polisi wanaangalia kesi eh ndio sijui venye kesi ilienda juu hawajai pat hawajai patikana waweze sasa kutulia kidogo hivi mimi nika feel like ah, i'm not okay today pata kama nimeenda church so nikaambia one of my friend enye leo si feel poa kaniambia vika masiku imefika ningawaambia bado ne eh, am 34 weeks na e, na two two days whereby sioni kama siku yangu imefika after 10 minutes mimi naona maji juu sijawa isa actually so sijui nikakimbia kwa certain woman alikuwa my customer nikamuliza mama iko hivi na hivi na hivi akanifunga leso tena akapiga simu kulikuwa na jirani wetu alikuwa wa polisi akampigia akamwambia huu madam uenda ni kama nitaka kujifungua So huyo pia akapiga simu police station wakuja wakanichukua kanipeleka hospitali. Hospitali nilipopelekwa nikaambiwa pressure imepanda siwezi push then hawezi hawezi ni induce whereby ni push. The ne, heart rate ya mtoto pia iko inasikika. So aka book CS hapo hapo kwa hospitali. Ikapatikana hiyo hospitali walikuwa nafanya cleaning za hizo whatever so walikuwa nafanya cleaning so kupiga simu kakamega wakasema pia watu wameja ha sasa hapo manasses wakaniacha hivyo nimebaki hivyo sasa hata sijui nifanye nini then one of the nurse akakuja kuniulizia mimi nikamuelezea akapiga simu mukumu hospital whereby wakakubali so nikaweka kwa ambulance nikapelekwa mukumu hospital nilikuwa namba 9 kwa line kufanywa CS. So madaktari walivyokuja wanani check nini nini. So wakaambiwa huyo ni post emergency whereby msipofanya raka we can lose both of them. 
Sasa when nilisikia hivyo sijui sijui nifanye nini, sijui niambie nani. Kumbuka Maidan pia siwezi mpigia simu. So mwenye alinipeleka hapo hivyo pia alikuwa alikuwa tu just a neighbor. Niseme tu aliniokota. Kaniambia acha nikuombe lakini itakuwa tu sawa. So kuna certain nurse anaitwa Meli, alikuja ka exchange file. Akona nye huyu tusipofanya haraka nezaenda. So alivyo exchange file nikawa number 1 kwa line nikaitwa nikafanywa CS kukuja ikabidi nimepigia sasa baba mtoto nimwambia hello nimejifungua sasa bibi sasa eh huyo kwa usiku kituma saa 10 hivyo nikampigia nimejifungua mtoto mtoto msichana immediately the wife called me akaanza kunitusi kumbuka bado si feel yani huku bado kumekufa ganzi bado nimelazwa hivi unalala for 8 hours usigeuke akaanza kunitusi eh hey, mimi na hapo nikaanza tukulia so nikalia like to 3 hours a certain doctor came madam shida ni nini so nikamuelezea akajaribu kunipea some advice akaniambia pana despite umekosea ma umekosea baba hata mama inafaa urudi chini wazazi hata kutupa you just try to call them Eh, nikapigia sister angu. Nikambia sis, niko operation, nimetoka operation room na nikakata simu. Nikatafuta mamu, mama kushika simu. So my sis had to look for my mom. Kambia mama, kuna venye viki, ananiambia kospitali mkuma ume operatiwa. So sijua me operatiwa kivipi ya. Sijua mipata jali, sijua mejifungua tujue. So my mom, akatafuta fade. Mtoto ni kama kospitali mkumu tuende. So alivu kuja wakenda wakantafuta kwa wale wenye mpata ajali, nikakosekana huko. Wakawambia pana huyu, ajaletu wa hapa. Not unless tutafute mali penye, kuna wanawake wamefanyo operation. Actually my dad came, alivu nipata, mifaa nipate, walitembea na daktari. So the doctor was asking, who is Jacinta? Victoria ni nani? Waka nipata. Actually my dad cried. <laughs> Hapo miya ta siju nifanye nini, machozi tu sasa. So, fadha kanyamaza, kaniuliza sasa bili tutafanya aje, nika muambia. Hapa kakamega, kuna something walitupea, linda mama na mamu kia whereby it, get, it will get her for everything. At least haka kwa somehow relieved but disappointed. So, nika mua, kambia mame nye ni mewakosea but sasa umu nye amenileta nataka ni mreliza ende kama uneza baki na mimi tafadhali baki na mimi kuna swali pengine ni kataka kukuliza kama mm. natuendeleo na. wakati wa umebeba mtoto during the period ya pregnancy yako mm. uh, hiyo e season yote na before uh, umebu patane na uyu baba ya mtoto do you want to say maybe how muku wa muna patana na how muku unenda nyumbani pengine kutemedea wazazi ndiyo at least waone mtoto wa etu kayu kwa sana <laughs> Sikuwa yenda nyumbani. Njua eneo, mama angeona. Mama angegundua mapema, mama dada angegundua mapema. So, nilibeba mimba without anybody kujua. Eh. So, hauku unenda nyumbani. So, hata hini nini surprise kwa hau? Eh, ilikuwa surprise. So, baba amekuja. Baba amekuja hapo, mama amekuja. Very disappointed. Eh. So, so ulikuwa na tuexplainia reaction ya wazazi ya toa mekujia mekupati hospitali, usha jifungua, mm. mtoto wako wapo kando, na weu kwa umelala pale. So, wamefika, wali react aje uliku, waliku fika. Reaction ya my parents, according to venye niliwaona, walikuwa so disappointed. Whereby, ni bebe mimba, hizo miezi zote, sija wajulisha, ni menyamaza. Nipeleko hospitali, nimenyamaza, na watafta daka mwisho. So, madha livo ingia, ya kanisalimia, akaomba kidogo, na kaka. So, mwenye likuwa na mimi ndi wakanza kuwa brief, these and these are what, what happened. Yo, daktari ya maule ya mama. Sasa mama linipeleka. Wea baya, kasema hepi antaka kuenda, sasa kuwaki. So, I to tell mama, kama utabaki na mimi, so, she was like somehow, and I insist ya ntaka kurudi nyumbani. Na baba kamuambia, kwa vile viki ya kukwa hii hali, hatuwezi muacha, na tuwezi travel from here to Kisumu. Na venyako hivi. So, itabidi at least apate pahali, akai. Keshe yake, 
ilikuwa ni sasa usiku nimekaa na mama dad kumbuka amesharudi nyumbani so the woman nilikuwa nakaa na yeye akapiga simu akaniambia madam sasa chenye kiko ni usirudi kwa nyumba so nikamuliza mbona na huwa tunalipa rent pamoja na wewe mbona nisirudi ati usikuje kwa sababu gani e, my daughter ako pia pregnant kwa vile umepitia kisu kwa waluya haifai mwenye amepitia kisu tuishi pamoja naweza fanya hata mtoto wangu pia afanye nini aku operated so hiyo ni believe ya mwenye mlikuwa mnaishi na ehe sasa my mama kamuliza kama mkoa mnaishi kwa hiyo nyumba wawili mtoto wangu alikuwa na provide pia mbona umfukuze more in fact she is not related na wewe mbona sasa umfanyie hivyo so akona like kuna mvutano hapo so i told one of my madam again mwingine sasa anaitwa madam alima where by nilimuita alikuja kuniona hospitali so nilivomwambia kaniambia let me confirm from my husband kwanza nione juu enyei hali si rahisi alivo confirm from the husband akakubali in fact adi, the madam akatafuta gari ya kunichukua from the hospital So kumbuka hospitali wakataka ID ya baba mtoto. Jina pia sijapewa from the, the other side jua luya siji lazima upewe jina ni siji na the family kitu kama hiyo. Lakini upato umempigia ulikuwa umetuambia ulimpigia. Wewe nilimpigia. Lakini bibi akakupigisha kelele. Eh eh exactly. So simu ya mzee bibi ndio alishika. Bibi ndio alishika. So hakuna information yoyote mzee ali alipata ku communicate baba ya mtoto. Hakuna. So nika, nilikuwa na communicate sasa na the brother. Yeah, yeah, baba. Kwa ehe. Usiku akanipigia na simu ya ndugu yake. Kaniambia Vicky, congratulations ndo niko chini na kulingana na situation venye iko. This lady ni kama taki nikuje nifanye nini hospitali. So me I told him hapa chenye tunataka ni unitafutie nyumba venye neza kama ni penye neza kana utafute mtu mwenye neza kana yeye akasema yeye ana pesa si nilishakwambia ujipange nikakata simu kwa hii asira nikakumbuka janiambia jina nikampigia nikamuliza sasa jina mtoto ni muite nani akaniambia ah nilikuwa na wish muite Maila so nikamwambia ni sawa kwa hii story yote maisha yote umenipitiza mtoto wangu nitamuita destiny na kwa vile umesema umesema aitwe Maila ataitwa Destiny Maila na si ushavunja zile tradition sasa za waluya venye umesema hivyo kwa kukosa kufuata ile nini amekupea kwa sababu yeye ndo alifaa kupe jina mtoto na, na we ume we ndio sasa unapea mtoto jina Ali, alisema nimpatie Maila nimuite Maila mm -hmm. mimi nikamwambia haina shida nitamuita Maila lakini ataitwa Destiny Maila okay so Destiny uh, weba hatima yote nimepitia aitwe Destiny so kukawa kidogo hivyo kakata simu the madam came akamwambia tutumie ID yake alikuwa na force watu sasa vitu kufanya unaona the madam forced him akatuma the ID na hiyo jina tukaandika kwa kitabu ikaandikwa kwa hiyo whatever the clinic ya watoto ikaandika ikakuwa recorded so akauliza akaambiwa mali penye tuko na mali penye tunaenda tunataka taxi vika hizi ka kwa hizi gari za barabara tu vio vio akaambia madam ni sawa nitashughulikia tukangoja almost four hours hashughuliki akapigiwa the guy akatuma 300 shillings na taxi from mukumu to where we, the lady was staying ni 2500 so alivo, in fact hata yako sasa sijui kama ndio alipea na pesa juu jina ilivo reflect haikuwa yake so ndio madam akampigia tumengoja pesa kwani kwa wapi ati yenye nimetuma hiyo ndio nimekoa nayo mnataka sasa mimi nifanye aje so nikaambia madam niko na some cash kuna mwalimu pia hizo cha madogo ndogo nilikuwa namwambia mwalimu niweke hizi pesa siku nitahitaji utakuwa unanipea kidogo kidogo actually nikapigia mwalimu kuna venye niko down na hitaji pesa nitumie elfu mbili so akatume elfu mbili tukatafuta madam alikuja na taxi tayari tukakuja kwa madam tukakaa kwa madam almost one month mm, that was kula kwake 
eh, kila kitu madam alikuwa na provide na hapo anasema ati ya kucharge pengine ilikuwa tu free of charge free of charge just like a friend but all this time baba ya mtoto pengine afta anafuatilia tuseme life sasa yako kuanzia from hospital now anaifuatilia hako haifuatilia hako haikuja kuona mtoto mm-hmm. so tena after one month that was august sasa june june, eh, june august Suji inafaa mtoto after one month ama some periods anyolewe. Unaona? So nikashindwa kulingana na culture ya wawanga. Mm-hmm. Inafaa mtu eh inafaa mtoto anyolewe kwao. Mm-hmm. So nikashindwa nitenda pale tena nitavamiwa. Mi sitaki kwenda. Kaambiwa pana hawafanyi hivyo utaumiza mtoto baadaye. What you do call the baby daddy of, the, of your kid mwambie nafaa mtoto anyolee mtoto anasumbua actually alikuwa anasumbua so akapigiwa simu akamwambia Morgan tunataka kuja nyumbani viki mtoto inafaa anyolewe then the guy was like sitaki mkuje leo msikuje leo mtakuja siku yenye bibi yangu atakuwa ameenda kwao so me i took the phone na nikamuliza siku bibi atakuwa ameenda kwao aje hii yote nyumenipitiza bado unaendelea tu kuniumiza roho. Kumbuka I have a scar where by kuitwa kuna mtu mwenye ako na scar. Hakuna mtu mwenye aliyai operative actually. Hizi zote bado haoni. So nikamwambia mimi nitakuja. Let's say for example mtoto wangu akufe. Nitamzika usiku, nitakuja kumzika kwenu usiku na kuja leo kwenu na kuja. So I hope unajijaza na uko peke yako. Niko peke yangu. So nilikuwa na mkunga. Nilikuwa nakaa mshosho mshosho hivi nikamuelezea. Akaniambia hapana madam weze ndio uko peke yako. Naenda na wewe kama mzazi. Ha, alivokubali nikasimamia transport tukafika. Kufika kumbuka the the boy akatoka. Hiyo kijana akatoka. Tumefika kwao. Na the sister knew naenda. The mother knew naenda. Where by the mother alikuwa anatungoja tu hapo kwa gate. So tulivofika you know the mother is somehow crippled alipigwa na stroke side moja so mimi nikafika pale according to tradition venye huyo mshosha alikuwa amenielezea ukifika weka mtoto kwa mguu nani shosha yake baba mama uh, mama ya baba mtoto exactly so nilivofika mimi nikampatia mtoto actually mtoto akanyamaza katulia almost 10 minutes amenyamaza tu akiongeleshwa hiyo lugha yao so tukaingizwa kwa nyumba ndukaomba kidogo wakashughulika upande na food sasa venye alikuwa anaanza kunywa mtoto ule mama kumbuka alikuwa kwa nyumba bibi ya bibi ya the baby daddy alikuwa kwa nyumba kakuja haraka so nikashindwa eh hapa shida ni, ni, ni rada kumbe alikuwa na alikuwa na watch venyaneza ni attack but boda mwenye alitupeleka alikuja kaka in between me sasa alienda akaanza kupigana na brother in law. Mbona wa, wa yaani waniambie mi niende nifanye nini? Ninyolee mtoto kwao. Mbona ni mbona ni siku muambia. So akauliza sani anaambiwa kiaje yeye ndio mwenye mimba. Hapo akapigana akachukua kiso anataka kudunga the brother in law. Kukawa tuna vita tu kwa hiyo boma tukawa tuna vita tu watu wanapigana huko nje but mtoto ananyolewa. So tulipomaliza shughuli nikaambia huyo shosho nyanya ya huyu sasa nikamwambia ah hapana mimi naenda shughuli imenileta nimeshamaliza. Atu. So vita ishafanyika kumetokea vita juu yako. Mm. Wale wazazi wa, wakina baba ya mtoto watakupokea ukwe wa familia ama uh, walisimama na yule wa kwanza? Walisimama nami. So after wame receive na kuna mwingine analeta vita nini iliendelea hapo? So huyo pia alipokea tu zake. Whereby the sisters in law ikabidi wameingilia plus the brother in law wachungaji wakaingilia. Whereby alipigwa. So alivopigwa akachukua mtoto wake alikuwa na mtoto kijana akamchukua akaenda kutafuta the husband where the husband was ndio alitoroka after mmeingia kwao kabisa so kumtafuta wakakuja naye kwa boma so the husband also turned against me plus the parents au the brothers akatand against them akaanza kuwatukana unaona mkitaka huyo msichana mumchukue nini nini matusi mabaya mabaya tu So the grandmother mwenye nilikuwa nimeenda nikamwambia kwa vile tushamaliza shughuli zetu acha sisi tuwe 
tuende na hivyo ndio tukaondoka kama bado wanatukana na tu ilikuwa yao sasa na kitu ambacho pengine mtu anaweza jiuliza wewe ni mkeni kwa hiyo boma haujawahi mm. hauko umeenda huko awali na kuna bibi ya huyo mzee ambaye alikuwa bibi yake kwa nini wana wewe na wanakosa kurekodi na zoom mwingine na yeye alikuweko pale it's a long story umetoka wa sasa umeenda nyumbani ama bado sasa hujatoka kwa hiyo boma tushatoka tukarudi plot mali pe nilikuwa naishi na huyu madam nikaishi almost uh, another two weeks ndipo sasa nikaenda nyumbani nyumbani kwetu sasa kwetu sasa na huko watakupokea sasa kwetu kule walifurahi tu wamekupokea tu kama mtoto wao kama mtoto wao lakini deep down deep down niliwakasirisha kiro Eh. Tunataka tuone hii story ya depression kwa sababu kuna mtu ambaye pengine through kutazama hii video ataweza kusaidika. So parents wamekuresive this uh, despite umewa umewash ume, umewaangusha. Kuna wale wazazi ambao watoto wao pengine wakifail they are not willing to forgive and uh, watoto wanaenda pengine unapata mtu pengine amejinyonga amejua because ukiwa rejected na family there is no other place unaenda kuna mtu amekuwa rejected pengine na familia award for them because that is the end point ambayo unaweza kukataliwa na wao so unaweza ambiaje watu ambao pengine ni wazazi sana sana mtoto wao amemess yes but they are not willing to receive himo himo ha kwa wale wazazi ambao wanajaribu kukataa watoto mimi chenye naweza waambia <laughs> mtoto ni baraka ambapo wewe by when your daughter son amemess pahali haifai umuruke juu uwezi jua kama huyu mtoto wake ndiye atakusaidia what mm. mtoto yeah. the life yako sasa pale sasa nyumbani kwenu sasa sio umesema uko kwenu sasa eh nilikuwa kwetu sasa by that time nikamaliza kitu 2 weeks nyumbani pale babangu ndiye alikuwa ananishughulikia kila kitu kuanzia kwa diaper nini maziwa shughuli tu hadi wenzangu walikuwa ananifulia juu bado siku anaweza kuinama vile so after that two weeks shule zikafunguka where by maternity leave yangu ilisha nikarudi shule so kurudi shule before i go back to school nilienda kwa huyo mama nilikuwa naishi na the madam sasa before sasa niende sasa kwangu kwenyewe ni same now this my house ni rent na jilipia so nikaenda kwake nikalala one night the husband was willing at least to stay now hapo but nilikaona like ah nitakuwa na nitakuwa nawapea mizigo nika nione tu venye naweza tafuta nyumba at least nianze kujizoesha maisha naona so nikamwambia hapana madam Malima kwa vile tumepewa at least tumelipwa pesa ya miezi tatu let me look for a house karibu na shule na nitafuta angalau mtu mwenye atakuwa na nikalia na mtoto wakati niko shule akanisaidia kuvacate from her house na tukatafuta nyumba nikaanza kuishi hapo sasa hapo ndo nikarudi shule. Sa, kuna kitu umetuambia unarudi sasa shule mm. na shule umerudi kazi. Na. na kazi penye ulikuwa unafanya pia baba ya mtoto wako pale. Yuko pale. You are not in the yeah. Sasa tueleze life pia pale shuleni sasa. <laughs> <laughs> pale maisha haikuwa rahisi na tena si rahisi vile. But I thank God mimi niko na ofisi yangu. Sasa unapata natoka nyumbani direct kwa ofisi yangu kitu fani ni ni mwalimu wa biology atakuja kuambia madam nipangie practical utakata kwa kazi lazima ufanye so unajua unakumbuka this guy naweza fanya tu nini ameniweka kwa hii maisha by the actually napitia lot nateseka for real <laughs> so na feel like nipange nisipange na nisipopanga si nitafutwa kazi mtoto wangu atasaidika aje so napati inabidi nifanye nini ni muheshimu na nimpangie na nimwache nazo hapo so but sakuna ile uhusiano ya kuuliza ati mambo ya mtoto bado yeye yeah, hayuko pale sometimes anauliza kama najisikia sometimes amenyamaza tu like nothing happens between me na Vicky things are just normal kitu kama hiyo kuna kitu hapa umetaja kwamba yeye yeah, hayuko responsible pengine kujulia hali ya mtoto nini nini but kwako wewe mwenyewe ushai pengine muaddress ukamwambia nahitaji hii na hii kwa sababu ya mtoto nilimuaddress nilimuita kwa ofisi akakuja nikamwambia someone to three 
nikakuwa that yani niko na hasira tu machozi tu sasa so akasema nitaangalia so kuangalia ikawa nitaangalia na afanye nitaangalia na afanye some of the teachers ikabidi wa maingililia kati kaambia yenyewe chenye unafanya it's not right you made this and this and this you should be responsible so nikona hakuna ah, jani lazimishe mtu yeye pia jisikie like ajisikie sukari vile mimi nikaona ah, life yangu acha tu iendelee na mtoto nimejiami Hmm. lakini sasa uh, kuna mtoto hapa anafaa akuna na yeye hayuko responsible wewe mwenyewe kufuatilia yani ile kumuonyesha ya kwamba anafaa ni ile maybe wewe unataka kujaribia jina ama ni nini inafanya sana sana unaona yeye hataki kufuatilia because kama anajua yeye ni baba ni sababu gani unafikiria inafanya yeye hataki ku hiyo ni kutoka like i don't care nini inafanya maybe kitu kama hiyo hapo siwezi jua chenye inafanya ayuko that responsible so kafika january it was it february february akakuja like sasa penye viki anarudi tena form viki anarudi tena shape ni mzuri ni nini imebadilika unaona sasa unatoka that kwa kuzaa ile that but unono yani ya kuzaa ya umami na isha akakuja kwangu one one day ilikuwa lunch time hivi saturday eh nikamuliza yeye ni umekuja shida iko wapi si ulijifanya wewe ni sukari mbona tena umerudi kwangu 